I don't think it particularly helps you, but I don't think it particularly hurts you. Um, it sort of it, it relates to a kind of an earlier point about like choosing you know choosing where you're going to go to graduate school, right? So you really, you know, for all you guys, it's too, <laughs> too late. <laughs> you are <laughs> for, for some of you out in the audience, it may not be. Um, you don't you don't ever want to go to graduate school at your first place, your first choice where you want to work. <laughs> Um, you know, I was admitted to the UBC PhD program. I did not go to the UBC PhD program. Didn't even apply for the SFU PhD program because I knew I wanted to come back to BC. I'm actually from BC. Um, and that if I did my PhD there, I wasn't going to have a chance to do that. And so I deliberately looked outside. So you want to, you know, keep your, again, message, keep your options as open as you can, right? So it may be that, yes, you want to be where you want to be because it would be nice to be close to your family for your graduate degree and, you know, or you really like the skiing or, you know, there's something about the lifestyle that really appeals to you. You want to be in the city or you want to be in a smaller center. But all that means is that in the long run you can't live there. <laughs> so it's better to suck it up through your PhD. I did my PhD in New Jersey, you know. Not high on my list. I mean, it was great being close to New York, but really, honestly, not high on my list of places that I would want to live. And when I had friends visit me, they were often appalled. <laughs> How can you possibly survive here? But it, you know, it ultimately meant that I could leave New Jersey <laughs> and come back and get a job you know, where I wanted to live. I had that option. So postdocs, there doesn't tend to be the same kind of like, oh, if you have a postdoc, um, you know, no one will consider you because you're, you're too similar or... Uh, or you know, for the various reasons, but there is there there can be a bit of a grass is greener thing where sometimes when a candidate is not known, they may seem more mysterious. They may seem um, yeah, they can be a blank slate upon which to project positive fantasies <laughs> in a way that somebody who's already known in the department, you know, can't be. So. The good thing is you have the opportunity to ha let people know how fabulous you are. The bad thing is that you know you can't sort of appear as this mysterious and alluring outsider. Um, I did have a PhD or a postdoc in the department that I ultimately got the job in, but I interviewed for the job the same week that my postdoc started, <laughs> and it could have been pretty awkward, you know, if I didn't get the job for the next year, wandering around feeling hard done by, you know, thinking about the successful candidate. But um, fortunately, that, you know, that worked out. But I, I, I think it's probably neither, you know, not hugely consequential one way or the other, I would say. Could work out well for you. Could, you know, could, couldn't be not so bad. But for graduate school, you definitely want to not go to graduate school where you want to have your job. Absolutely.